<coughs> so. Hey, sorry this took so long, but uh, it's finally time for our 2020 room setup tour. I think I'm going to do this in the winter from now on. Uh, so I'm just going to do a talking cam around my room. Uh, I basically spent all my time in here, especially since quarantine started. So uh, yeah, I just, I just got, got everything in here that I need for everything that I do. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into it. <clears throat> Alright, uh, so here's the corner of my room. Uh, there's not really anything too special around here. Just got some of my shoes, red ones, running shoes, little white shoes and stuff. Just got some post-it notes. Uh, this is more interesting right over here. I have like my clothes. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've been feeling the black a lot recently. So yeah, these are just all my clothes. And then, ooh, my cassette deck, unfortunately. This one doesn't work, so I need to get one that works, but, uh, yes, cassette deck, um, some records, vinyls, I was listening to this just before filming this, actually, <laughs> that's why I'm so hyped up, but, uh, Roland MA-12C speaker, these are fantastic little speakers, they sound great, um, and these are hooked up to this uh, Sony PVM. If you don't know what PVM stands for, it's a professional video monitor. So these were used in like hospitals and broadcasting centers and stuff like that. I believe this one is the 1943 MD from Sony, made in Japan. In the late 90s, I believe. This one's pretty old. Uh, so yeah, just the rest of my clothes. Nothing much over here. Uh, looking at this, I just got my iPod and uh, this is actually how I'm getting the Karate Kid on there right now. This is a Roku. You can't really tell. But uh, this Roku is very special because it has composite out, which you need for a 4x3 TV like this. Um, if you want to set up like mine, where it's like a 4x3 TV, um, you have to use devices that output that resolution. And this Roku, it's the 3910X, uh, is one of the last devices that was able to do that, but they don't make them anymore. Um, so right now, I am just I just have all the audio cables for the speaker over there uh, <clears throat> lined out right here. And I just kind of plug them in whenever I need to use them. But uh, I'm hoping to get a 3.5 millimeter audio switcher soon because uh, that'd be a lot more convenient. But yeah, turntable. Oh, also real quick. <laughs> I only have that one speaker for right now because uh, I just got the, uh, I just got a pair of these right before I, I filmed this room tour and the seller forgot to send me the other speaker. So yeah, before I was using a pair of Harman Kardon sound sticks, but uh, I, I wanted to upgrade to these for the video, but uh, yeah, unfortunately they uh, didn't send it to me in time. It's all good though. It's in the way. Uh, up here, it's like various knickknacks. Um, 88 six figure. Thanks, host family. A little VHS recorder still works, by the way. Um, some old Macintosh motherboards. My Doug Blackbird. I use this keyboard for whenever I want to play video games on the computer. Uh, here's what the the opening sequence is filmed on. It's an old uh, handy cam. So yes, Doug Viper. It's got some books. <clears throat> Over here, nothing too much. Just a mirror. Um, electric skateboard, uh, my bed, Macintosh on it. So right there normally is where the camera that I, I would stream uh, is held, but uh, I'm actually f using it to film this video right now. So yeah, it just kind of chills right here, and it gets this shot, which you guys see in my stream all the time. So yeah, it just kind of sits like this, uh, but yeah, I'm using the camera right now, so. Uh, MacBook Pro. Right here, it's got my backpack. All reliable. Sick pin. Apple Lisa. This is actually named after Steve Jobs' uh, daughter. But uh, this computer failed sadly. But uh, yep, yeah, old backpack. Um, here's my keyboard that I use sometimes for that computer right there. This is a. Uh, 
A116J, I want to say. M0116J. And this one is particularly rare because uh, it's in such good condition and uh, it has the Japanese keycaps. Which I don't think I've seen any since I bought this one actually. It's got a convenient little power breaker, ISO bar. It's nice having it nearby. But uh, yes, onto the actual desk. Uh, this is a, uh, this is my work progress journal. So I like log how my work is going in here. And I got some watches, my trusty water bottle, uh, this various books, DSi. Um, I've just been using these two phones recently for my live stream. So this has been my main phone. It's just an old iPhone uh, SE. It was like 30 bucks. <laughs> and uh, I still have this phone that I've been using for like four years, on or eight. It's actually set up to control my Roku right now. So, uh... So, yeah. Oh, also, uh, this is set up with a Plex server. So this is in the Plex app. Uh, so I can just, like, get all my movies that I have on my computer over onto this there. So I go back real quick. Go over to Plex. <laughs> what has happened? Hello? Alright, one sec. <laughs> I got out working again. I don't know what happened, but uh, I just had to reset it real quick. As you can see, you can just uh, look through all my media, and uh, it's really convenient. And I can just control it with my phone, which is cool. Uh, so yeah. What was I talking about? The glasses, computation notebook, my trusty old pencil. This is a Rotring 600, which I've had since the beginning of my YouTube channel. Um, keyboard is an IBM Model M. Uh, flip clock, it's got some various electronic parts. Uh, Calendar, it's the wrong date. Yes, um, Tizio lamp. And here is my camera. Uh, you might be wondering what the thing in front of it is. That is a teleprompter that I have set up with this external monitor. Uh, so if I'm filming a video, I just have to pull up the teleprompter and then move it onto the screen over here. So if I go ahead and Move it on over there, like so. Uh, you can see it kind of reflects in front of the teleprompter and uh, I can just read off of it. So yeah, the camera behind it is a A6400. And it's really convenient just to have like, I can put my YouTube chat or my live stream chat on here or my script for a video on here and just film it directly off the HDMI out. So yeah, that's super convenient. Um, the cat. Chairs of Herman Miller Aeron, great chair, uh, highly recommended. Uh, right here, I've got a Wave 3 microphone, pretty good. Uh, I mainly use this one because it has the silent mute. I mute myself all the time for my live stream, so uh, this feature is really important for me. Um, random notebook, fountain pen, Roaching 600 uh, from the 80s. This one has the gold tip right here is a uh, Grove made brass pen as you can see it's super heavy thanks for uh, Grove made for sending this out to me but uh, yeah I really like how this thing writes I was using before um, before I got that pen I was using this one all the time this is my roach ring ballpoint pen, but uh, this one just writes way nicer and is a lot heavier, which I appreciate. Um, so Microsystems monitor. Uh, here's my main laptop, X220, uh, 16 gigs of RAM, SSD, repaste it, IPS screen, Linux, yes. And it's just chilling on top of a uh, 
little book stand from Amazon. Um, so I can either read books on this, uh, put papers, or put my laptop on like so. And uh, I'll just plug that keyboard down there into here. And uh, yeah, and then I just have a little charging cable. Um, this is like the barrel plug for the ThinkPad, but uh, if I ever want to use the MacBook, just use the, this Type-C one, and uh, yeah. 8-bit uh, though and 30 mouse. Grove made uh, leather mouse pad. Thanks Grove made. Uh, MX Anywhere 2S. And then here's just like the uh, input for that keyboard. And right now I have a USB-C for the MacBook. But uh, got a little loft for my bed. Not my bed, Mika's bed. Um, <clears throat> Pants like let's know. This is a Pomo boy from my stream. So uh, when I'm live streaming, I'll put the feed of people in my Discord channel, uh, my Discord server on this guy, so you can see him on the stream. That's why I had this little sign to advertise our server. But uh, yeah, he's kind of red from my. <laughs> uh, October live stream special. I dyed my hair, but the dye got everywhere. So yeah, he's kind of a little bit red right now. <laughs> uh, down here, we just got the stream PC um, and my Plex server and my gaming computer. So yeah, this guy is uh, used for everything. It's not like a really up to date computer, but it's good enough for what I needed to do. It's like 3770K. 16 gigs of RAM, 1060, which is all like outdated parts, but uh, it's uh, good enough. And it's uh, in this little IBM Aptiva chassis, which uh, is probably like the best sleeper case, I'd, I'd say. It looks really good, and uh, the airflow is pretty good, and it's really easy to build into because it's ATX or MATX. So, yeah, good chassis. Um, <laughs> chill, chill. Right here, I just have. Uh, so this is like my weekly agenda, uh, things I need to remember to do. So like, this is Sunday, um, I just got like Japanese, I work. Uh, yeah, so I, usually when I'm not in school right now, so when I have like uh, classes and stuff, this is a lot more filled out. But yeah, I just like really having a visual uh, reminder of everything I gotta do for that week. So yeah, I'll fill this out at the start of a week. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think that's it for today. Um, it's giving you a quick overview. It's not like the prettiest setup, but it's very functional. It's what works for me. And uh, as you can probably tell, I, I really enjoy uh, vintage and retro electronics. So I try to incorporate that into a lot of my life and the setup. So yeah, um, I know it's not conventional, but um, it's what works for me. So, uh, hey, thanks for watching the video, guys. Um, keep an eye out for the next year's video, I guess. So, uh, yeah, sorry this one took so long. But, uh, hey, have a nice uh, New Year's, guys. See you later.